Hey YouTube family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. Thank you for joining me today. So I have a question for you today. And I'm wondering, do men actually have a strategy to finding love? Do they have an approach to finding love? What is it that they do? What is their mindset? Let's talk about it today. Stay tuned. <laughs> Do men actually have a strategy when it comes to finding love? Or do they just kind of go along with the program? Well, that actually brings me to my first point. <laughs> Most men actually just go along with the program. Until that one comes along that actually changes their mindset. It makes them think about things differently. She is helping them helping him be pushed to the next level in his life, then all of a sudden her value in his life is increased. And not only, he's not, he's no longer only going along with the program with her. The second thing or strategy approach to finding love that men have, they think that they have all the time in the world when it comes to finding love. So they are in no rush at all. Most of the time when you see a guy that has gotten into a relationship and ultimately has proposed and now is married, it's because, again, she came in and he has changed things on the way that he sees things, his way of thinking. Again, she has added value to his life. So he doesn't want to lose her which is when he makes sure he does not by making her his girlfriend or proposing to her and ultimately marrying her. He does not want to lose this one. She has come and added to his life and he don't want her to go. This next one is something that I've actually experienced myself, which is, I've talked to men who've actually been on these dating sites and in the status or what they're looking for actually says looking for a relationship, looking for marriage or something along those lines, long term, etc. And they ain't looking for that. But here's the secret woman. Come here. Come here, come here. I talked to a few guys that actually admitted this, which is they put that in there because if they say that they're looking for um, short term or just the fling. They know that the responses that they are going to get from women are few far and in between. So they're playing the game, which is why you cannot go off of what they put on their profile. What you have to do is verify that information. And not only are you verifying it by his words, absolutely even above his words, you are verifying that by his actions. Is he saying that he wants to be in a relationship, but y'all, but he never makes time to hang out with you? Only thing he does, yeah, that's hitting them buttons. That's texting. There is no urgency to see you in person. One of the next things that I find to be kind of disturbing, actually, from a woman's standpoint. Men, listen up. This is from a woman's standpoint. For some reason, you guys think that you have to have everything together before you get with the girl. My boyfriend was no different. Seriously, he was no different. But of course, he didn't confess this. He wanted to have things in order before he got into a relationship like the car that he wanted to drive, the job, the money, you know, all of the stuff that really, really, really matters to men. Now I'm saying it don't, I'm not saying that it does not matter to women. It does, but it's on a higher priority scale for men than it is for women. Women, we, we would rather have love. It doesn't matter where, side note, it doesn't matter where the woman is in her career. If she had a choice, most women, if she had a choice between all of the money and getting a dude that really loved her, showed her respect, cherished her, and didn't have no money, meaning the man, 
she would choose the man. Most women would still choose the man versus all the money and being being by herself. Men are quite the opposite. <laughs> they would choose the money. And again, not all of them. But they would. most of them would choose the money because they know if they got the money, it don't matter how they look. Even if they old, fat, sloppy, they gonna get a woman. Even if it's a gold digger, they gonna get a woman. The last and most important thing, if you do not take anything away from this video, especially ladies, please listen up. Men know that they need to take it slow with any woman because once they fall in love with you or with us as women, their emotions have them doing crazy stuff, at least in their mind. They typically do not know how to handle their emotions and they know if they get with you and they really love you and you treat them bad and you know dog them out and all that stuff it's gonna be real bad for them i'm not saying it's not gonna be bad for both of y'all but for men they really 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 take it hard women we can be in a relationship we can get dogged out we can move on to the next guy. We don't have to wait, you know, years, 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 or play with uh, so many men's hearts in between. And then, then 10, 15 years down the road, then we say, you know what? Okay, I probably need to, for real, settle down. We're just different like that. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. As long as you understand and know, you ain't got to worry about it. So, Here's what I would like for you guys to do. <laughs> have you dealt with a guy that has done any of these things? And fellas, put it down in the comment section. We would like to know your thoughts on this subject. Is there anything else that I'm missing? Is there anything that she actually could do to win you over? To push you toward relationship even faster? <laughs> again give me a thumbs up if you're interested and liking what i said if you have not subscribed and you made it to this point and this is your first time hit that red subscribe button i will see you in the next video two finger salute